My name is John of RatchetStrapMedia.com and today I'm at Evergreen Raceway shooting Drift Kitchen. What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. My name is John, if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. So yeah, I am at Evergreen Raceway again. This is basically the only track I really come to, but um, I'm at an event called Drift Kitchen. It's an all female driving, drifting event. I've never actually shot this before. I, I wanted to last year, but I, I couldn't make it. They do like beginner to expert to pro, yeah, any skill level really. I know a bunch of people here already. They're gonna be the normal drivers that come to any of the events, but um, a lot of them are like, say their girlfriends or something like that driving their car. God, I hate vlogging in public so much. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to do it. I think I look so stupid, but it's about like 10 o'clock-ish. Um, it's only supposed to get to about 80 degrees today, which is absolutely beautiful. And the thing I don't like is that there's not a cloud in the sky. So uh, it's gonna be a bunch of harsh lighting all day. That's awesome, just kidding. So I ordered a new camera lens for this event. It was a Canon L-Series, uh, what is that, 17 to 35 f2.8. I paid extra to have it shipped to me within one day and naturally FedEx dropped the ball, you know? Thanks a lot, that's, that's, that's awesome. So I don't have it. <laughs> I wanted to use that lens for some spicy B-roll and nice wide angle shots, maybe in-car shot and stuff like that, but well, it'll be here today, so that, that doesn't help me, but maybe for the next event. <laughs> yeah, everybody's starting to roll in, so let's go check out some of their cars. So today's gear I will be using is a Canon EOS R6. Um, on it right now I have a 24 to 105 f4 L. Um, it's not really something I'm going to be using much. I also have a Sigma 150 to 600 Contemporary, my Zyun Weeble S. So this is a Sigma 70 to 200 f2.8, and then right here is a Sigma 35 1.4. All right, so driver's meeting's over. They should be uh, they should be running in a couple minutes here. Um, so I figured I'd go over what I plan to do today. So I have my R6 with the 70 to 200 on here currently, and I don't know if you can see it, but I'm running a, what is it, an ND8 filter, I believe, and a CPL. I don't normally use CPL for actual, like, drifting photography, but I had a couple issues at the last event with some really harsh lighting, and today is really, really, really harsh lighting since there's not one cloud in the sky. So I'm gonna try and run a CPL on this and see if I can, I don't know, set it maybe to while I'm panning, but the problem is like, as I move, it's also gonna move the direction of the light from the sun, so I'm gonna have to manually be turning the CPL as I'm panning, which I really don't wanna do at all. I'll probably just keep it in a spot and then kind of pan with the car, hoping it works out. It'll be really good if I'm, say I'm s sitting in a position and the cars are coming at me, then I can set the CPL that way and just shoot as they come. So that'll be that'll be much, much better looking since the a lot of the lighting won't be as harsh, I guess. I don't know, I never actually did this, so I'm, I'm hoping that it works out the way I'm thinking it's gonna work out. But yeah, they're gonna be starting up in a couple minutes and I'm going to start shooting. Drifting has started, so we're gonna start shooting here.
the settings I'm running are uh, the sh a shutter speed of 1 over 60, uh, f8 at ISO 500. So I'm running a 60th of a second shutter speed because of the fact that I'm panning with the vehicles to introduce motion. So therefore I have an, uh, an ND8 filter on the front. probably go I don't know a lot of people are going off track so it's hard to figure out where to actually go here right now somewhere else. Alright, so I moved to the other side of the flagpole. This is a neat spot too because you can get them coming around the pole. So yeah, this is a pretty small event. It's only 25 drivers. Obviously of all varying skill levels. you're looking in a pretty bad spot like this because you get a ton of seat time and uh, you can really progress your driving with stuff like this. Let's go check out some other stuff. So the last event I was here, I shot like uh, 8,500 pictures or something absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not trying to do that today. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to shoot maybe 2,000. That, that's gonna be my max. It took me like four days just to call and go through all the pictures and out the ones that were good and bad and all that other stuff so I'm not trying to do that again currently I have 356 so I'm, I'm really not trying to go out of my way to get a shit ton of pictures again the food stand isn't open today so that's not good I expected it to be open I didn't bring any food um, luckily I still had some water in here from last event I was really hoping to be able to shoot the L track today like that little corner that I like to shoot but it appears that they just have a cone set up to do some donuts. So I'm not, uh, not really gonna waste my time there, but I am gonna focus on the oval a lot today and find some cool spots and just get some cool shots, you know? I don't even think it's 80 degrees yet and it's already hot as balls, so yeah, there's no shade, nothing. So I'm gonna go, uh, I think, up by the initiation turn and um, try and get some shots there. I was gonna go to initiation turn, but I kinda wanna shoot through the fence a little bit and get uh, get them coming through this like little initiation area.
hands out. I don't know, it, it gives you a nice compression. I'm trying my best to do every single event this year. Here, anyway. I'm really hoping that I, I can get to the last one. I think there's two left, something like that. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really hoping that I can make all of them. All those photos I just took, I shot at a hundredth of a second and um, it got the fence and every single one of them used to shoot at like a thirtieth of a second shutter speed and it just ignores the fence totally. So that didn't happen this time, huh? <laughs> so that's a good reason to periodically check your uh, check your photos. Because those would be not good. Well, I got about a thousand photos and a whole bunch of video. So I'm going to head home and start, I guess, the editing process on all of this stuff. And uh, yeah. It was a pretty neat event. I don't know if they actually filled up the roster, like they said a max of 25 drivers. I don't, I don't think there was 25 here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head home now and uh, start editing all these photos and make a video and make this video. That is it for me. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.